Welcome to the Deliverance Network, especially on this beloved time of Christmas. We welcome you. Thank you for joining us. We're hopeful that you have centered yourself somewhat through Advent as we come into the Christmas season so that you're really centered in Jesus, the reason for the season. At Christmas, many of us are very busy with our shopping lists and our cooking and our visiting and getting Christmas cards, but we really need to stop all of the flurry, all of the activity, and find time, especially daily if you can, leading into Christmas in prayer. And so we're hopeful that some of the things that we discuss and share with you today as we celebrate this Christmas season will help to anchor you in your faith for Christmas and in your relationship with Jesus Christ. It's a beautiful, wondrous, blessed, holy season, and we're hopeful that we are helping you to add to that joy that you experience this Christmas season at the Deliverance Network. Love incarnate, love divine Star and angels gave the sign Bow to babe on bended The Savior of humanity Unto us a child is born He shall reign forevermore No Christmas 2022. I know myself personally, I have experienced the hustle and bustle of the season. When you're working outside of the home, working in the home with your families, and trying to get all of the extra preparations done for Christmas, it can often be a very, very busy time, a very stressful time, a harried time, anything but more relaxed and contemplative. And I know myself, when I was in the malls recently trying to finish all of my personal Christmas shopping, it was teeming. There were people everywhere. The stores were running big business. Lots of people out shopping and having a great time celebrating parties, etc. I really think that at this time of the year we have to stop for a moment and contemplate what the season really is meant to be. There's so much commercialism now in the world in general every day of the year, but especially at Christmas, it's a time when there's even more shopping, even more purchasing, even more social events. So we're finding that we're very, very harried instead of being in the joyful, restful anticipation of the birth of Christ. And so to help center you this Christmas and really enter into the joy and peace that the season brings, which sometimes is the opposite when you're trying to prepare for Christmas. I want to share with you a couple of messages, one of them from Countdown to the Kingdom. Very, very short, brief message. And this one from St. Joseph. And often on the prophetic watchtower, we don't always hear from St. Joseph. We hear quite a bit from Mary. We hear from Jesus. We hear a lot from St. Michael the Archangel, but not often from St. Joseph. And he, of course, was the more silent figure in the Bible, the father of Jesus. And in this message, and I share again for your discernment from Countdown to the Kingdom through Eduardo Ferreira on November the 30th from purportedly St. Joseph, he has this to say, Beloved, I, Joseph, invite you to place all your trust in the Lord once again. Beloved, seek for yourselves treasures in heaven, where nothing will destroy them, where they will not perish, rot, or die. Do not despair concerning material things. Be content with what is destined for you. Enjoy what you have with love and happiness, with joy and peace in your heart. Be obedient to God. I, Joseph, will pray to Jesus for each one of you. I, Joseph, will ask Jesus to give you detachment from earthly goods. I am Joseph the carpenter. 
And that's very, very interesting how he says to be satisfied with what you have. I think part of the stress comes from the striving for things that you think you should have or think you need, but in actuality you don't. And he also has this to say that you have to have love, happiness, joy, and peace in your heart, and that these are the things that are destined for us. And I personally want to say if we don't have those in our heart, the rest of the things can seem meaningless. And in that vein, I'm going to share another message with you again for your discernment. This one from a website I've shared from before, holylove.org. This is a more recent message from God the Father, purportedly through the visionary there, December the 20th, so quite recent. And he has this to say, Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, prepare your hearts just as I prepared the humble major in the stable for my infant son. Yes, I knew that the manger would be the hallowed place of his birth. I called the animals to gather at the manger so that their warm breath would make his first crib more comfortable. I sent angels to the manger to offer their warm light around the first crib. So you see, what looked unprepared was prepared in my infinite divine will. Take solace in my unforetold provision. Allow me to prepare your hearts in a mystical way for his coming on Christmas. And I personally found that message to be so beautiful, so soothing, so comforting, because sometimes our best laid plans go astray when we are trying to get ready for Christmas in the hustle and bustle of the daily world. But then if we allow things to unfold according to God's will, sometimes what unfolds and happens is better than what we could have planned, and it ends up being the perfect plan for our Christmas. And I just wanted to end by sharing with you the Archbishop, Archbishop's message from this Christmas. And this is my local Archbishop in the Diocese of Ottawa, Cornwall. And as you ponder this Christmas day, as we finish our recollection and our sharing, I really want you to think strongly about the season of Christmas and what it truly is and is meant to mean to us. And try to bring that spirit into your own hearts and your families. The Archbishop says, the season of Christmas is once again upon us. How we decide to welcome it and celebrate it is of utter importance. Many in our world today live under the many pressures of society, of work and family obligations, and of course personal challenges. The busyness of our lives can easily overwhelm us and steer us off course. So in what space will you be when Christmas arrives? Obviously, we remain attentive to upcoming events if they mean something for us. If they are of little importance or if they are likely not going to change anything in my life, chances are I will let them pass by without notice. We therefore need to ask ourselves if celebrating Christmas really matters or not. Another question relates to the understanding we have of Christmas. What is Christmas really all about? In order to cut through all the glitter and traditions around Christmas, it is essential to seek understanding by going back to the source. Holy scriptures during the Christmas liturgies relate to us the day Jesus was born in Bethlehem. His birth is presented to us as a gift from God to humanity. Let us hear once again the message of the angel, good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. The celebration of the Nativity of the Savior is therefore an invitation for us to welcome in our personal lives a divine gift that has life-changing consequences. Opening our hearts to Jesus the Christ is allowing ourselves to enter into the light where healing, love, and lasting peace reign. It is about dying to earthly things and choosing eternal life. It is giving ourselves a chance to experience profound joy and hope. It is our way of answering God's call and giving the best of ourselves in accomplishing His will. This gift received in faith transforms human lives. That is why it has such a huge impact. And this is why Christmas takes on meaning and is truly celebrated. In welcoming the gift, we become the gift to others around us. The more we share the gift of Christ, the more our world resembles the kingdom of God. It is therefore my prayer that you may all celebrate Christmas this year with great expectation. Christmas blessings to you all. And that is from the Archbishop Marcel Damfus, Archbishop of Ottawa, Cornwall. Well, thank you for
for joining us here at the Deliverance Network as we celebrate this beautiful, joyous, holy season of Christmas. I'm hopeful that you have a blessed, relaxing, peaceful and joyful time with your families, with your friends, co-workers, however you may be celebrating this Christmas season. I really hope that the time of Advent helped you to center into your faith, center into that anticipation of Christmas, and that you were able to get somewhat out of the hustle and bustle of the daily secular preparations for Christmas. I really hope that you were able to enter into that spirit of Mary, the Mother of God, especially as we anticipate the coming solemnity of Mary, Mother of God, on January the 1st, and that you are in the same spirit of preparation, waiting, hopeful, joyful anticipation for the birth of Jesus in your own heart, the same way that Mary was when she was expecting Jesus all those years ago. And then that humble birth in the stable, how God comes to us in our daily lives and especially at Christmas in often very subtle, humble ways. May you experience the joy of Christ this Christmas in all its beauty, especially interiorly in your hearts as you welcome Jesus this Christmas season. God bless you from the Deliverance Network this Christmas and always.